beginning by praising Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and salutations be upon our beloved Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. South Africa and indeed many parts of the world are in lockdown. In lockdown, people are forced indoors and you have more time for yourself and you are in solitude. In the hectic life that we live outside the lockdown, people do not understand and are not aware with regard to the benefits of solitude. And in solitude, there is many benefits. And that is why it, in the narrations, it is made mention that solitude was made dear to our beloved Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prior to his prophethood, leading to his first wahi and revelation. He used to spend time in solitude in the cave of Hira. And it was at that time when wahi came upon him. And in solitude, we will be able to reflect upon our life, the objectives of our life, and how far are we actually realizing the objectives of our life. One of the benefits of tahajjud, and that is why it is so special, and there is such a great virtue with regard to it, is that you are communicating and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in solitude. Says Allah in the Holy Quran, تَتَجَافَ جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ يَلْهُونَ رَبَّهُمْ خَوْفَ وَتَمَعَهُ Allah Ta'ala praises those who separate themselves from their bed to remember Allah and call out towards Almighty Allah in fear and in love, in fear and in expectations. And among the seven categories of people who will be under the shade of Allah's throne on the day of judgment, one of them, Rajulan Dakar Allah Khaliyan Fafadat Ainahu, a person who remembers Allah Ta'ala in solitude and his eyes tears. So in this lockdown, in the solitude, let us take advantage of this great benefit.